there's some information that gives us hope about the existence of the Galaxy Note 21. We also have the benchmark scores of the Galaxy S21 Plus, powered by the Snapdragon 888, which are really surprising, especially the multi-core score. And we have our first look at Samsung's next true wireless earbuds, the Galaxy Buds Pro. So, over the past few weeks, there's been a lot of conflicting rumors regarding the existence of the Galaxy Note 21. We've seen a couple of reputable Samsung leakers like Ice Universe saying there isn't going to be a Note series next year, and Max Weinbach, who dug into the source code of One UI 3.0 and found all flagship devices that will be launched with this software, and the Note 21 wasn't on the list. Now, the latest is from a highly reputable tech media company, Reuters, and they said Samsung might discontinue its premium Galaxy Note next year because Samsung doesn't have any plans to develop a new Galaxy Note for 2021, according to two inside sources. Instead, the top model of the S21 series will support the S Pen, and the next Galaxy Fold will have it within the phone. So all the development efforts that normally goes to the Note have now been channeled into foldables. But according to another leaker, Tron, there's gonna be a Galaxy Note 21 as it was confirmed in one of the display test sections that Samsung is preparing, and they're testing two display samples for the Galaxy Note 21, one with a punch hole selfie camera and one with an under display selfie camera. So if this guy and his sources are correct, then we'll see one last Samsung Galaxy Note from Samsung next year. And according to some other sources, it's gonna be just one variant of the Note, not two like the Note 20 series, as Samsung wants to reduce the market share of the Note in favor of its foldables. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, a sub to the channel will be massively appreciated. Also, we have benchmark leaks of the Galaxy S21 Plus powered by the new Snapdragon 888, and it's unimpressive in multi-core. It shows very little improvement over the Snapdragon 865, but the single core score is in line with what to expect from the Cortex X1. Nevertheless, it seems like it's gonna underperform compared to the Exynos 2100 because its prime and high performance cores are clocked lower than the clock speeds of the Exynos 2100. And finally, we have our first look at the Galaxy Buds Pro, Samsung's next true wireless earbuds, which is said to bring some significant improvements over the Galaxy Buds Live like better active noise cancellation with rubber tips for a better seal, longer lasting battery and more. The design of the earbuds is similar to the Galaxy Buds Plus, but the case shares the same design as the Galaxy Buds Live. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see a Galaxy Note from Samsung next year. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tech related videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.